Hello, I am hopping on with another haul. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> so much cute stuff out. I gotta stop hauling stuff. Um, I just can't help myself. It's too much cuteness out there. And I keep being influenced by all of you. <laughs> so anyways, um, just wanted to share in case you also want to go on the hunt for these things. Um, you know how it is. If you shop early, you can probably find them, but if you wait, they'll be gone. So, um, first up, let me just share this real quick. I got this at Target. It is a little candy dish container. It was $5. Um, it's called Novelty Ceramic Container, and um, I just thought it was really cute. Um, it'll be perfect to sort of set on the counter and use with our hot cocoa bar, and it's got a little lid up here. It is taped. I'm not going to untape it because I don't want to break it. So, um, but it is really cute for $5. So I did grab that from Target. I thought it was really adorable. Okay. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I have been scouring all of the TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, um, for all of the cute things that I know Shara posted and Tony and lots of other people have been hauling and sharing and, um, I think I have found just about everything I was looking for except for the pom-pom trim, but I posted a story on my Instagram just like, hey, if anybody has any extra, let me know, and um, Live Love Craft is so sweet, she is going to send me a roll of the pom-pom trim. So thank you, thank you so much, and thank you because several people actually reached out to me, and that's just so sweet. The community is just so amazing. Um... So, uh, yeah, if you guys are looking for anything, post it below because I'm probably still going to be going out to Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And if I happen to run across any of the things that you're looking for, you know, I'm happy to pick them up for you. Um, so I know sometimes certain stores have certain things and others don't. It's just the look of the draw, I guess. Um, but I went to four, four different stores, I think. Um, I, I live close to a large city where there are a lot of stores. Um, I don't, I live sort of out in the country, but you know, if you drive 30, 40 minutes, you can basically get to several different stores. So I was able to go to several and pick up, um, all the things. I think the only other thing I'm missing that I would like to find are the Mary Mary stickers that are just the stickers. They don't have the to and from labels. Um, but I'll keep a lookout and keep going and see if I happen to run across those. But, okay, enough talking. Let me share with you guys what I found. So I found these. I have never, ever seen these at, um, where did I get these at? I got these at TJ Maxx. They were $4.99. I've never seen these in the actual stores. Um, I always heard people talk about getting them, and I've seen people use them on their projects, but I never actually seen them. Well, just so happens I ran across them in a whole bunch of them. So I did pick up these Nutcracker ones. I love Nutcracker stuff for Christmas. It's so cute. So um, I did pick up one set of those. And then they also had these gingerbread ones and um, they've got like a holographic glitter on them, which I'm not super thrilled about, but I did want to grab them. I am trying to participate in a gingerbread swap, so I thought these would be good to clip onto my projects. And then I really liked these. I thought these were super cute. They've got the Santas and some peppermints and then like some jingle bells. So I thought those were pretty cute too. And I think they were all the same price, $4.99. So I grabbed those and then I was able to find one roll of this peppermint ribbon. Um, it was buried in the back of the ribbons, which I think is the only reason it was still there because if people had seen it, they probably would have grabbed it. Um, if you are on the search for this and you're willing to pay, I have seen this like on eBay and stuff. Um, but people are charging a lot for it. So, but just know if you're, you know, desperate for it. Um, I, cause I was thinking about paying <laughs> cause I really, really wanted it, but thankfully I was able to find one roll of it and it was, um, $4.99 and you get five yards. So really cute. And then I also did find one roll of the pink and red ribbon, the bow, um, and it was $4.99. And again, it was in the same place, like buried underneath a bunch of ribbons in the back, in the way back. Like obviously nobody saw it back there. Okay. Then I went to Marshall's and I didn't think they were going to have anything because even though Marshall's is owned by the same 
um, company. I hadn't seen anybody actually really hauling from Marshalls. It's mostly just been TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Um, but I hit the mother load because they had just had a truck that had been delivered right before I got there. And the, the store was like trashed. I mean, there was stuff everywhere. I had to like dig, um, because they had just basically taken the boxes and dumped them out on the shelves. Um, and it was a mess. I mean, they had so much more product than they had room for. There was stuff in the aisles. It was crazy. Um, but I did find a lot of stuff. So one of the things I found was this really cute tote bag. You guys know, I don't need another tote bag, but I had to get this. It was so stinking cute. Um, so I will use it to carry my crafts around in. It was, um, it's made by Peppermint Square. It's a reusable tote. It's a really nice, thick, heavy-duty tote bag, canvas tote bag, and it was $4.99. So it's really cute. It's kind of on the smaller side, which is good. And I just thought the little Santas were super cute on it. And um, they've got, like, silver on their beards. And, yeah, really cute. So I grabbed that. And then... I also found these tags. I thought these were super cute. I haven't seen anybody haul these. Um, I'm going to open these because they are so pretty. And um, I kind of want to see what kind of quality they are. They're not a brand I recognize, but I just thought they were very pretty and that they looked very crepe paper to me. Um, so I thought they would probably go good with a lot of the crepe paper Christmas collections I have. And you get 16 tags in here. And they have gold foiling on them. And they're really pretty. So they just got like the two in the front on the back. But yeah, really pretty designs. So super excited to find those. And they've got, you know, all the different colors. So those are pretty fun. And they were $5.99. So those are fun, really cute. So I picked those up. And then I did find the green Santa ribbon. So I got one roll of that. It was $4.99. So that's cute. I think that will go really good with um, that My Mind's Eye collection. What is that collection called? It has this color green in it. It has that Kelly green in it. I don't know. I can't think of the name of it. But um, I also found these shaker tags. Look how cute these are. They're like holographic. And they have... Um, like confetti inside and I thought those are really cute you get eight shaker tags and they were $3.99 so those are super fun shakers already made for you so that's great okay and then I also found one roll of this um Mary Peace Joy ribbon this pink here and this is eight yards it's cute um, I found these, which I was super excited about. You get 12 tags in there, and these were $4.99. And then I found these snowman clips. I thought these were super cute. And these were $4.99. And then I was super excited to find these. Um, love, love, love these. And they were $5.99. And then I also found these. And these were $5.99. Okay, and then you guys are going to laugh. I bought another canvas tote bag, but this is a large canvas tote bag. This is not a little one, and I could not leave this there. It was so over-the-top cute. It was $9.99, and this is the brand, um, Santa's Workshop. And I don't know if you can tell, but it has these green bows, like, embroidered on the canvas bag. And it's pink with these red candy canes and these green bows. And I just love it so much. The straps are green. Um, it's just really over the top cute. And I just had to have it. And it's going to bring me a lot of joy for $10. So I definitely grabbed that. Even though I absolutely do not need any canvas tote bags. <laughs> I have a ton of them. But I do really love them. Okay. And then... Let me share a couple other things I picked up. I picked up this snowman die from My Creative Time. It was on my wish list. I think it came out last year, and I never did pick it up, so I went ahead and grabbed it this year. Um, it makes the cutest little snowman. There's no picture, but it's really cute snowman. And it has this cute little sweater and top hat, and it comes with the stamps. Really, really cute. It's called Mr. Snowman. So I grabbed that. 
And then um, I really went over there to get this. This is the fairy Halloween add-ons. I was able to get the fairy dies, but they were sold out of this die. And so when it came back in stock, I ran over there and grabbed it um, because so cute. Okay, so that's what I got from my creative time. And then somebody posted on their YouTube channel, and I cannot remember who it was because I have the worst memory, but um, that iCrafter, that company that's been going out of business, they are still uploading new things onto their website, and it's still like super clearanced. And somebody was um, sharing these cutting plates that they have in hot pink and they're two dollars each you guys and they do fit like a normal um die cutting machine and so i grabbed several of these now the shipping was a little high it was like 16 dollars shipping but that's because my package was so heavy because i ordered a bunch of heavy stuff so probably wouldn't be that heavy if you just picked up like one or two of these but i picked up a whole bunch um and they still have them um so, you know, if you're interested, for two bucks, you can't beat that. So this is iCrafter. So I grabbed a bunch of those, and then um, they had these, which is the standard cutting base and adapter. And these were $3, and this is basically like the, the I don't know, the, the plate thing that goes with your machine. I got one just in case I ever need it. It was $3. That's super, super inexpensive. And in case mine ever break or get lost or something happens, it just I'll have it just in case I need it. So for $3, I was like, I'm never going to find a deal like that again. And again, I think it works fine with just any cutting machine you have. It looks like it fits fine with the one that I have. Okay. Um, then I picked up um, from there... Uh, a few other things that they had on sale. They had these uh, tweezers, and I think these were like $3, $2 or $3. So I picked up one more of those just to have another one in my stash. I picked up this uh, mini Halloween hauntings die set. It comes with like just these little dies here, and this was really cheap. It was like maybe $2 or something like that. So I grabbed that. I picked up several of these. Um, because I thought they would be good to put in swaps and it creates this really cute scalloped layered heart and it's Lori Whitlock and again I think these were like two dollars um, but it comes with this really cute heart die so I picked up several of those so that I would have them for swaps and then um, I also picked up several of these so this is meant to be um, an add-on to these boxes, but I really think you could just use these with anything. I mean, they cut out this cute little Valentine word. They cut out this little XOXO square. These hearts, you've got a doily here, a sweet. You've got this little scalloped heart and then this border. And again, these were like $2, I think. So uh, I picked up several of those and then I also picked up one of these for myself. Just a, um, this comes with like a trophy and then like a pennant die. So I grabbed that. So I think that's, yeah, all I got from iCrafter. Okay, and then I placed an order at Simon Says Stamp because I needed to get that chipboard album that goes with the Doodlebug um, cult -like set thing that I bought, the album set. And that was the only place that had it in stock. So I placed an order there, and while I was there, I found some other stuff to buy. So I grabbed this. Um, this is the Newton's Nook Halloween Party uh, pattern papers. The patterns on here are so flipping cute. This is glossy paper, so just be aware. It's six by six, but the patterns are so flipping cute. I mean, so cute. Look at that pink ghost. Um, we've got this one. These candy corns are super cute. They're like hot pink. Got some plaids. I wonder if this would go well with the um, little boo thing. It seems to be like very similar colors, so I'm kind of wondering if you could kind of mix it in there. They don't have any accessories or anything. It's just the paper pad. So, uh, like they didn't produce any. But yeah, I love this tombstone one. It's kind of hard to flip these papers because they're so thick. But yeah, really cute little patterns. Sorry, I know there's a glare. 
Anyways, so I grabbed that. And then while I was there, I also grabbed these um, Stamping Bella stamps that have been on my wish list forever. Well, since they came out. I don't know if they came out. I don't know if they came out this year or last year, but anyways, whenever they came out, I wanted to get them. Um, this is the, of course, the Sanderson sisters and, um, it's just a stamp. And so this is a Canadian company and I didn't realize that they sell these at Simon Says Stamp. So that's really good because then I don't have to pay for the shipping or wait for it to be shipped from Canada. So that's good. And then if you're going to Simon Says Stamp, you can use this code COZY to get $5 off your order. So there's that. Okay, and then a couple more things. Um, in a de-stash group on Facebook, and I don't remember which one, somebody was de-stashing this Stampin' Up! set. It makes these tags, and look how cute these tags are. It's a brand new set. It's never been used. So I definitely snapped that up. It comes with everything. I'm not going to open it because I just want to keep it sealed up. But it even has a stamp block in here. And then it came with these stamps um, that go with the set and an ink. So there's that. And then also I found somebody on Facebook that was de-stashing this. And this is the set that Christina used in her tag flip. And it was... Uh, a little bit cheaper than it was on the website and I'm pretty sure this thing is brand new I don't think it's been used at all so these are the stamps that come with it and then the dies and these are the tombstone dies really cute and then it also comes with these boxes that you can create the tombstones and glue them to the top of the box so, yeah, really cute set here. So, all right, so that's my haul. And then I also have some Happy Mail. Um, Bay Area Crafts sent me the cutest card in the mail, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, it was so sweet. She just basically sent me a note thanking me for hosting my swap. I think this came off of here. Um, and look how cute this card is. So adorable. So I'm totally going to save this card and put it in my October daily um, because it's really adorable and then she also sent me um, this really cute little hocus pocus decal really really fun so that was so sweet of her thank you so much um, and I was totally surprised when I got this in the mail I was like oh my gosh look how cute so yeah really really adorable so thank you so much okay so I think that's everything I have to share if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below and I will talk to y'all later all right bye